Hi everybody, this is Dr. Tracy, and I just wanted to walk you through what you should be doing in CIS Game 2 this week. You probably got an email announcement. Every week I'm going to send you an email announcement, and in that announcement, it should tell you everything that needs to be done. So this is just the video version of that, and if you read that and you understood it, you probably don't need to watch this, but I still am going to go over it with you and hopefully it'll help some of you just make sense of everything that you need to do. Before anything else, I wanted to make sure that you review the Canvas page and all the parts of it so that you can find your way around and know what you're doing. Then you're supposed to introduce yourself in the Flipgrid assignment. And the third thing is go to your group discussions page and talk with the people that have been assigned to your group and de determine your team name and logo and let me know. So um, when you log on to CIS Game 2, it first will take you to this home page. And on the home page, you can see a to-do list that will, will make its way over here on the right side. It's a little bit off my screen, but it should be fine on yours. Um, and that gives you any assignments or group discussions that are um, happening. There, I was able to move it over just a bit. So when it says participate in your group discussions and participate in welcome, these are assignments that you've been given. In addition, you can see the icon that looks like a loudspeaker will give you quick access to any announcements. So in this course, I've provided the syllabus and an expectations of you as a student, a quick look at a schedule, and a link for extra credit that we'll post as the semester goes on. The topics that we're covering in this class start off with review. This means going through the stuff that was in CIS Game 1 that's relevant to this class. After that, we're going to brainstorm ideas and create a physical prototype and a digital prototype in 2D and then 3D. We're also going to spend some time doing play testing to see how we can determine if a game is fun. There's two tests in the course, and there are seven projects. These projects are all group projects, so it is imperative that you work with groups in this class. As we work, as I've spoken with people in the industry, one of the biggest things that they want to see is students that have skills on how to communicate and work with the team. If you don't participate in your group discussions each week, you will lose 10% of your grade. But not only that, I will affect the grade of your projects if I don't see your participation showing that you are doing part of these projects. And that's really important. When you go to the group discussions, you've already been assigned to a group. And each week, I'm going to create a prompt for you. You're going to be able to talk to the other people that's in your group and discuss what are uh, the uh, whatever assignment that I'm going to give you for that week. But in addition, you can use these group discussions in order to share ideas about upcoming projects that will be due as a group and submitted as a group. You won't be submitting any individual projects. This will be entirely as a group. Um, so make sure that you read the syllabus. Make sure that you take a look at what uh, is going on in the class. You'll note that I my advice hours are Tuesdays and Fridays. That means that during those times, I will be available for discussions or chat or setting up Zoom meetings. I can also arrange hours or times or days outside of those, but please just send me an email and we'll see what I can do. Every Thursday at 10 a.m., I have reserved my time for you guys as a Zoom meeting. This is not mandatory. What I like to do with the Zoom meeting is open it up for questions and discuss any topics for the week. Depending upon participation, um, I'll, I'll record these and post them, but if, if, you know, we don't really talk about anything important, I may not. Uh, but, I, but at least try and attend, and if you can't, it's fine, because it's not mandatory. And I won't go over anything in there that isn't something you can't get elsewhere. Um, the course, as I said, is, has uh, seven projects, two tests, and this grade on peer evaluations is based on 
what other people think about you and what I think about you as I can review in your group discussions forum. So the tentative schedule is listed here on the syllabus. I reserve the right to change it. And these are the topics that we're going through each week. This week it says intro to class and next week is a review of the relevant stuff out of chapter of game one. So you don't have too much homework going on this week. Just to be familiar with the class is the main thing that you should be worrying about as you get started. All right, I think that we're good to go. And if you have any other questions, just send me an email at tracy.coacher at chafee.edu. And thanks. Good luck. I hope you have a good semester.